Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and joining me today is Tortero. Looks like it's just the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, anywho, um, for the audience at home who are wondering where hey is Silver and Sapphire, um, Sapphire has gone to a wedding with Manga, so she needed to, well, take time off. And as for Silver, he is not well, or he is under the weather. He went to... where was it again? Everfree Northwest, was it? I think it was. Yeah, so, he went to Everfree Northwest, and he got the con flu. So, yeah, not fun. So, he's taking a break, uh, resting up. So, you just got me and Terra. Yay! Yay! But here's the thing. Um, we promised you last week that we we're going. We were going to do um, season nine, episode one and two, the premiere. And right now, we don't feel really right without having Sapphire or Silver around. So we're gonna hold off until either Silver or Sapphire come back, or you know, the both of them will be great, and we can do this properly. We can start the season properly. So, as for now, you're going to get me and Terra, and you know what? Both of us have watched Season 9 up to um, Episode 9 officially, and well, we, we're going to do something kind of new, kind of, I would say, um, undone before for us, and that's sharing our thoughts on the beginning of the season, and how we and how we like the pre- season 9 as of now uh, and we're not going to go too in depth in the season or episodes we're just going to highlight or we're just going to share our opinions on it like how we feel how do stuff you know I would say before we start um, see the episode first or whatever but we're not really going to go in depth and spoilerish so anywho Tara, how do you, how do you like season nine as of now? Like, we are officially on uh, season sorry episode nine, uh, sweet and smoky. So, how do you like it? I think the season so far is very su- sweet and smoky, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but I really am enjoying it. A lot of great episodes that I can't wait to talk about in the future. But I mean, since it's the last season. I guess they're they're making it more emotional. For, I mean, some episodes aren't that emotional, but it really hits you. True, 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 true. So, since this is kind of the last season, I feel like there's a few things going on for this season. Like, they're trying to get everything neat and proper and get things done. For example, we, we get to see the villains and what they're doing and... Uh, initially, we started off with the villains, and then they got to do stuff. And uh, later on episodes, uh, they what? What was the episode called? Uh, Frenemies. They kind of work together and try to be a team. <laughs> and then you can see harmony kicking in. And then oh no! Wow, that was, that one was a great episode. I can't wait to go into detail on that one. Yeah, I mean that that one was a lot of fun. I I do like it and. Uh, we, we get to see uh, a few things that they did with some characters, um, especially with Sombra, who didn't really have much to work with in the <coughs> season that he was in. And in this season, they kind of flush out his characters a bit. But unfortunately, um, as easy as he came, he went out easy too. <laughs> It was rather different, though, because we were so used to his sinister voice in Season 3, and then he has a different voice. Not that I'm butchering the voice actor or anything, but we always had that, I mean, I'm pretty sure other people, too, had that imagination where he was all, all dark and sinister. Oh, yeah, true. That. I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Um, I, I think in this season, they really want to flush out certain character traits for some characters, uh, especially Sombra here, but the interesting part about Sombra, if I do remember right, is in the very beginning of his appearance, uh, he was not really voiced by the voice actor. Uh, I think he was voiced by one of the directors. Um, I think, what, Big Jim was it? But oh. it was really way back. Like, um, like 
Sombra just said crystals and ponies. And now he's saying more things like, I am much better than you. Huzzah, <laughs> look at me. Ooh. At least it's not like Chrysalis where he's going insane. <laughs> oh wow, that, that's <laughs> oh I I can't wait to talk about Chrysalis and stuff. Yes, Big Jim Miller, like in season two, that that was him. And then now, uh, he's being played by Elvin Sanders. So <laughs> yeah, we get to see uh Sombra have more lines to say and has a proper voice actor. Yes, instead of him just saying crystals or roaring or other things he did. <laughs> True, true. And, oh man, here's, here's one of the sad parts about this happening right now. And any of our comic readers would have remembered that, hey, there's a version of Sombra in the uh, Finship is Magic. And it continued on to the uh, mainline comics. And he became good and off to adventure with uh, whoever and whatever that pony's name is. Now, yeah, throw that out of the window. On another end too, we get to see T-Rex back again, so that's awesome. The villains here are interesting because we're not really setting up... Okay, we got a setup of, okay, villains are going to work together and form the Legion of Doom. But the problem is, uh, they don't really like each other. Hence, while this is similar to every team up, the Sinister Six, Legion of Doom... Uh, the Decepticons and so on. Pretty much any group of evil. <laughs> yeah, but but what do you think, man? Like, is this something awe inspiring, or it's been done before? Like, what what do you feel? Oh, sorry, what do you think and feel? Uh, I mean, yeah, kind of guess it's been done too many times, but it kind of works here though because these are past villains that, from past seasons now coming together as one. Like, we rarely see a few villains together especially big strong powerful ones and now we see all these villains together in the same room trying to work together interesting interesting i kind of like that too i like that trope even though it's been done to death but the problem here is that i feel that the show could have been better if some of the villains are still there because okay uh Sombra came back, but now he's gone. We got T-Rex, we got Chrysalis, we got a little chibi pony, and we got the newest villain, Grogar. And that's only four of them. But before that, we got what? The ponies of Shadow, we got uh, Sun Starlight Glimmer, Sunset Shimmer, if you want to include her, and Sirens, if you want to include them too. And, well, uh, Discord is one, but now he's off the table because he's good. Sunset Shimmer is in the alternate universe being good. Uh, Starlight Glimmer is Twilight student and she's good. Uh, Sombra's dead. And who else did I mention again? Uh, I think you got everyone. Yeah, so <coughs> with this four, how are they going to... I don't know. It feels like they're just setting things up. Uh, part this, the beginning of the end, part one and two felt like okay. This is the scenario. This is what's going to happen. Then we didn't really get anything involving the villains until frenemies. That's what six episodes away, and even in that episode, we don't really know what they're up to. Uh, we know that Grogar sent them to get something, and uh, they decide to backstab Grogar later on. And yeah, I mean. What else can they do? And I don't know. Like, I feel like they need more and have at least, you know, the equivalent amount of ponies to bad guys. Like, they have six ponies. They should have six bad guys. Yeah, they actually should. That way, each pony could face a certain villain. Well, they could have Flim and Flam. <laughs> oh, that's true. So, wait, they would include Flim and Flam, right? So wait, there's four of them. Yeah, six! <laughs> <Done>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, Flim, Flim and Flam are not that bad, I think. I don't know, I mean, in the... Um, uh, I think it was season four finale, where Twilight's going into bad futures. I think that would be season that, six. No, 
Oh yeah, no, no, no. I think that was season five, because well, season was four was six. when the castle got destroyed. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. So um yeah, for the bad futures, we saw how bad the future was when Flem and Flam took over the Sweet Apple Acres. Yeah, I mean they could be bad if they're not controlled. So yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you could say they have found a better way to be bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, in a very dark future, but that that's one thing there. That, that's one theory that hey, if Flame Flam join them. But I don't think so. They're not that powerful or they're not that manipulative. Plus, they... Hmm. As Silverwood mentioned that these guys have a problem. They need to con people. Yes. But you got anything to add, man? Like, do you have any questions or things that you want to bring up? Because I kind of been dictating how this goes. So, um, pick up the floor, man. Like, what do you got? Well, I... I was kind of saving this for when we do the season opening of the season opening review, but mm. I do have one question on my mind though. <laughs> if Gogor created the most uh, fearsome creatures ever, so he must have created Discord then. I don't think so. Like, here's one of the things. Like, I, I think Discord is the embodiment of chaos. He's just there and i don't think he created discord because if he did create discord he'll be as powerful as him and according to his backstory in frenemies he was powerful and he put his power inside an artifact and some pony was swiped that artifact and hide it away for a very long time and i don't know like i don't think he's that powerful like he's powerful but not omnipotent or not godlike hmm. that's true he did lose the t-rex mm, did he well in the um season four finale this time we're going to season four not season five mm. uh i remember t-rex got enough well at first uh because t-rex was weak so discord was able to you know do his magic to block t-rex magic and whatnot but then, as t got stronger, he was able to take Discord's magic. Yeah, but at the same time too, how is he stronger than Grogar? Well, I don't think he's stronger than Grogar at the moment, because Grogar didn't give him a lot of magic for him to take. He only gave him a little bit amount of magic. For him to bulk up. <laughs> yes, and then he got muscles. <laughs> true, 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 true. Uh, we were talking a lot about the villains, and here's the thing, um... Villains, we don't get that much in ponies because, well, they either die in a few episodes or they just scoot away, never to come back. I feel like, hey, we, we got a chance to talk more about the villains, so yay. That's true. But other than that, man, like, Grogar himself, uh, we're not really going to go in depth. And I think he appeared in the episodes of ponies like the earlier days have you really like uh like g1 if i do remember right uh, i don't know a lot about g1 <laughs> like um reading on the wiki here uh Gorgar shares his name and overall design with generation one villain of the same name uh my little pony and friends four part the return the return of uh tembalon from which elements of his backstory are also drawn. Ah, yes. So, if you want to know more, go watch that. <laughs> oh, Alright. Or I could just ask Silver. <laughs> yeah. That would be much better. Yeah, because, you know, he, he's an old guy. I mean, not old as in he's old, but old <laughs> as in he knows the older generations than me. <laughs> uh, you're, you're glad he's not here, is he? <laughs> <laughs> well, I do plan on using that joke when we actually do the review. <laughs> previews for the people who are listening to this now yes but so let's skip away from the bad guys for a bit and talk about our heroes the main six and student six how do you think about them like do you think that they're being used well here i think they're decent like they're still trying to get used to things i mean now with um 
I don't know if it's going to detail. Uh, is going to detail mentioning about how Celestia and Luna plan on retiring? Uh, well, I, I think people will know about it. So let's, you, yeah, you can say it, but let's not go into it. All right. Well, I think they're at this point learning again, like back in the previous seasons, because uh, I guess it was also revealed in the trailer that Celestia and Luna were planning to retire. So yeah, uh, they're basically trying to learn how to be a good ruler of the whole land. Yeah, I can see that. And here's the thing too. I, I see that this season, some characters are getting into the groove of who or what they can do. Uh, especially for the student six. They're, they're, they're established to be good friends, but they're not well niche like they're not they're not in that mindset yet they're learning they're good friends but they still have their old habits so they're kind of learning again and again and trying to be better than their previous selves we, we see that in episode 3 uprooted and then we see that in she's all yak and so on mm-hmm. and i do like how they portray the students here and i do like them focusing on that but out of all of the uh, 13 episodes that are out and 9 that are shown in the Discovery family, we only see a few of them. So like I'm thinking like there's only 2 to 3 episodes of the students that we have. So not much to work with. It is pretty big though how in season 9 they were able to make it to the 200, 200th episode. Oh yeah, and that one is a fun one. Like reading the backstory for this one shows that hey, uh, we wanted to ask the voice actors what they wanted to do with their characters and have it been done before. And it seems that well, this is an all-out episode where the voice actress got what they wanted, and it's kind of a fun episode. It, 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 Yes, and I like how they even I like how the voice voice actors wrote the story, and not like other writers where they do their own thing. No, they actually got the voice actors to do their own story for their own episode. Not really. They didn't wrote it. They just give ideas to the writers. Oh yeah, and they just says, "Oh, you wanted to do this and this and this," and uh, a bit of a spoiler for this one. Uh, in in this one scene, Twilight asks what. Applejack, what can you do? And she goes into a backstory where she was a country western singer, became popular, and then threw that away to be with her family. And then everybody just looks at her and says, wait, did that really happen? (laughs) (laughs) And she didn't really say yes or no. And since Applejack don't lie, that means it's true, right? (laughs) Yeah, it has to be true. But she does that I thing when she lies. So it's like, is she lying? (laughs) <laughs> she's turning gray again <laughs> I, I need to rewatch that episode just to confirm but it was a really fun episode it was yeah we we get to see a lot more with um, some of the characters especially the princesses we, we get to see uh, Celestia and Luna be more in this season especially the season uh, mid-season uh, ender between Dark and Dawn that is a fun one. I, I wish I could talk about it, but it's not officially out yet. Mm-hmm. It's only been leaked. Yeah, not kind of. And talking about leaks, right? Are you as shocked as I am when half of the season got leaked? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not fully shocked, but I mean, I was surprised because, you know, it's the final season and you think they wouldn't be able to, like, you think they not leak any more stuff because even in the past season uh, things were getting leaked mm-hmm. and I think what season 9 was the worst of it like, yeah so I think it's because sorry, the sorry reason... no no season 8 sorry season 8 oh yeah it was season 8 but I think the reason why season 9 is getting leaked the most because it's the final season so people want to see all the episodes right now and you know honestly I don't think it's leaked on purpose not like season 8 I, I think this one is kind of on, not really Italy's fault, but 
the way that it got leaked is Italy the way that ponies are shown in Italy is that uh, it's an on demand kind of thing so mm-hmm. when you have on demand kind of show I, I think they stack everything like hey we have this for the first um, part of season 9 so here here's all of it and uh, if you did watch the leak, they were in Italian for the most part. But, from what I understand, there's also an English dub of it. So, you can watch it in English if you wanted to watch that too. Yeah, that's pretty weird. <laughs> yeah, true, true that, true that. So, you if you want to watch Ponies in uh, Italian, I guess it's there. Have you watched any of the leaked episodes? I have, <laughs> So, did you watch it in English or Italian? English. Ah, so you were fortunate enough to catch it in English. Uh, I yes. was. Um, uh, for my part, okay, I do not uh, condone the watching of spoilers. I, I, I do not w- condone it. But uh, for me and what I do on a regular basis, I need to be on the ball. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to watch one of the leaked episodes because people were tagging me for the longest time. <laughs> I, yeah, see, here's the thing about um, influencers. <laughs> I hate using that word, but it's kind of true and not so true. Uh, but anyway, um, the thing about you, Silver, Safi, and to an extent me, people who want to know our opinions and thoughts about certain topics, especially with this one with you in <laughs> mind like this this uh, okay not going to go in depth like we're not going to talk about it until we review that episode because damn will it be good yes oh I can already see Silver right now with his comments on that episode yeah, yeah, yeah. like who knew you were in the show <laughs> I never even thought about me being in the show yeah so yeah I mean that's one way to put you in <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, honestly, what's your stance on uh, leaks and spoilers? Uh, I mean, I, you had a mixed opinions on that because some people, yeah, they kind of want things to be leaked so they can get ahead of things and see what's coming up. But at the same time, it's, yeah, sure, the leaks are ahead, but then you have to wait and wait for the actual release date to come out and then wait for more episodes to come out in the future unless, you know, the whole season all of a sudden gets leaked and the official release dates don't matter, but I mean, why even leak them in the first place? <laughs> like I mentioned before, with this one it's kind of not really uh, Italy's fault, but the way that they uh, produce or the way that they distribute their episodes so it's kind of on... Not really on them, but that's how it goes. So it's unfortunate that with this day and age of the internet and how people consume media, people can just record it and distribute it and share it. It's mm-hmm. kind of unfortunate. But hey, that's how it is. Like, this is how the internet works. So yeah, without the internet, you and me wouldn't be talking at all. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Not in the sense of me and you talking right now, in the sense that we have never met before. Think about it, seriously. Yeah, that's a good thing to think about. And by the way, uh, that's besides the point that uh, this could be put on a side. So, as for me, my sense on leaks and spoilers, don't like them. I, I, I'm not a big fan. Like, if I am interested in something, I want to go in blind and clean so I could be shocked and awed. Because if you already know what's going to happen, the impact of that shock and awe is going to be lessened. So that's why if I am interested in watching a movie, I stop from watching all trailers so I can just enjoy the movie when it comes out. So yeah, that's my stance. Like I, I don't really like it, but if I get the opportunity to watch it and if it's in good high quality, then yes, I'll go in. I, I I sound like a hypocrite. <laughs> I mean, at least you're not sounding like a hippogriff. <laughs> uh, well, I wish that hippogriff is here so we can talk more. Okay. <laughs> Hope it gets better. If <coughs> only. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But anywho, uh, we've talked about 
villains, heroes. No, no, we talk about the student six. Okay, um, now I I think we're almost near the end. So what about the main six? How do you feel there? How, how do you feel? Like have they improved? Have they gone back and revert themselves to the olden days? What do you think? The young six or the main six? Main six. I guess they're. Uh, I don't really know. They still feel like the same to me from the past season, but with a little bit more learning experience now that they're gonna have to rule over Equestria. But I don't know. I mean, like I don't really see any changes in them. Hmm. All right. To, to me, I I feel that they're improving. They're yeah. To me, I feel like they're improving and. They're still the same, but improved a bit. Uh, a good example of this is in uh, Sweet and Smoky, where Fluttershy is on a quote unquote school road trip with Spike and Somber to go to Dragonlands, and she's not scared of dragons anymore. So that's one big difference between old Fluttershy and new Fluttershy, because she's going to the Dragonlands herself. So that's a huge step up. Hmm. That's true. And let's see, with certain characters like uh, what Rainbow Dash, I don't see her doing her old Rainbow Dash stick of "Hey, I'm better than you." Bra bra bra. <laughs> In fact, I feel like she's better here. Like she's helping other ponies to well, be better or just get along. Like in. Uh, episode number six, Common Grounds, where she helped Quibble Pants to get closer to his mere friend. That's true. So, yeah, so that's cool. I mean, at least she doesn't, well, not really hate Quibble Pants, but uh, she, she still thinks of him as a friend. So that's mm-hmm. cool. And other than that, uh, we, we get returning characters. Quibble Pants is one of them, so yay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Who else did we? I I know where else gonna come, but I got no idea when. Did they promise anyone else? Not that I could think of. I do hope Lena Hall comes back again. That'll be cool. Oh yes, that would be cool to have her in this last season of MLP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But anywho, uh, I I think we kind of tried to go in without going in too deep. So let's put a pin on this uh, for now and. <laughs> We can talk about it more when everybody's back and we can oh, go into season 9 in depth with uh, episode reviews. Yay! Yay, because it's so hard to keep it all in when we're trying not to go into detail without the others here. I know. Like, just talking about certain aspects of the show is much fun. Like, I really want to talk about uh, the part 1s and part 2s. I want to go deep like i'm just gonna talk about oh did you know this or did you see that like ah i can't wait <laughs> like they're kind of being like celestia and luna right now when we when we need help and they're not around <laughs> yeah uh talking about celestia and luna the 13th episode ah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so we're gonna put a pin on that for now until our other friends come back so we can really go into it but hey um that's for now we're just gonna pause it here and well just go on and kind of wrap this up, I guess. So anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dembisogmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Tara, where can the good people find you? Oh, they can find me on Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, or YouTube under the name Torterra1324. And they can even find me on Patreon with the same name, Torterra1324. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Go ahead and go to all them links, y'all. And support Terra on Patreon. Because he needs the love, too. Yes, <laughs> give me all the love. I'm very lovable. <laughs> Yay. But you're a very r- tough love kind of turtle. <laughs> 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 so, where was I? So, anyway... Uh, and also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date as this radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvoLife.com. Links are in the show notes. 
If you like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get a week's already access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Jeffrey, and also myself. Like, thank you so much, guys. You're great. So, uh, as for next week, we still got no idea what we're going to do because the way that we record this is kind of back to back. So, usually. It's a mystery. Yeah, usually we'll have Silver saying, "Ah, oh, this will be what we're gonna do next week." But since Silver's not here, and uh, yeah, this is gonna be awkward and strange. Well, so. I'm feeling the role for Silver. I mean, I don't know what we're gonna do next week, but here's hoping that maybe next week we'll do the season opening and hoping that Silver feels better. Not really, because after this, we're gonna record something else. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Silver, we need you! <laughs> so, anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I've been Tortilla. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the Mia Show. See ya! Bye bye! This is where Silver goes. <laughs> and then here's where we say something funny or smart. And then Silver makes a joke. Oh, we miss you, Silver! Come back! Come back, Silver! <laughs> <laughs>